YouTube and welcome back. So this video I want to make a simple, quick, fast tutorial on, on the Arduino Nano and how to plug it into a display. On the, the board, the display I have, it says IIC. Either way, IIC, I2C, if your board has that on it, then that's the um, I2C protocol. You don't need to know what that means. Not sure if you can see this, but you should be able to see the VCC, the ground, the SDA, and the SCL. So the VCC is the voltage current in. You're going to connect that to the 5 volts pin on the Arduino Nano. The ground is to ground on the Nano. And then the SDA is going to connect to A4. Um, SDA is, is the data transfer, and then the SCL, which is the clock, that's um, like the timing of the data that's sent, is going to connect to A5. Now, I, to be honest, don't understand all of the clock and the SDA. It doesn't matter because the code, um, as long as you tell the code what pins are connecting, are going, um, are, are from the board, we'll say, to the output device or the display, everything is taken care of and um, by the code I should say you don't even need to know how to code a lot of people freak out about that don't worry there's copy and paste you're good and I know that's kind of cringeworthy you can always give people credit for their code where it's due the hardware that you're going to need for this OLED Arduino hookup are just four cables like you see and then the typical USB Arduino cable, the Arduino Nano, and then the OLED display. I'm not sure the size. Okay, so we're going to, I'm gonna do this in front of you. Hopefully it's visible. Um, basically, you'll just connect the one, two, three, four. Watching this, then maybe. I'll Once the display is connected, you're going to connect, uh, I have this weird blink that I do, by the way, so. Don't judge my blink. Ground to ground, <laughs> five volt to five volt, ground to ground. It's kind of hard to see because these things are so small. Ugh. If there was one- I'm like annoying myself right now. Why is this so difficult? Are you kidding me? I should be a pro at this by now. Oh, I've done this so many okay. times. So this is what the finished product will look like or once you've connected the pins. And just make sure that everything is connected um, pretty tightly because sometimes these cables can kind of come loose. So uh, make sure they're all the way pushed in. Okay, so now we're gonna get to the code. So we are going to go to file examples. So I have a MacBook here, so it's different, but essentially you're gonna go to file examples and don't worry about anything here, but you need to install the library Arduino, or I'm sorry, Adafruit SSD 1306 if you haven't already. Um, the only thing you need to do to install it is go to sketch, include library, manage libraries, and then you'll search for it in the little search bar and hit install. Pretty self-explanatory. You guys know how to install software. Um, it is pretty intuitive, so just go ahead and try it out. And also, if you don't have the library already installed, it will ask you to install the dependency libraries, which are these two here. Um, it'll do that automatically. If ever you install a library that has dependency libraries, I know this is a lot of technical, but don't worry. It'll, so certain, sometimes you install programs and, and things that need other things, and this install of this thing adds to, it automatically installs the things that are needed with it. So. These three are needed. So the SSD 1306 is where the file that we need is gonna be located. And so you're gonna to go to the 128 by 64, or if you have the smaller screen, 128 by 32. Anyhow, so open up the file that matches the one for your display size. Mine is the 64 by 128. Go ahead and make this a little bit larger so you guys can see. Now, don't worry about any of this code. Again, I can post another video going over all of it if you guys want to learn more, um, or perhaps I will anyways, just to have it out there. I think that information is useful. But all we need to do is go ahead and change a few things. So where it says D, 0x3D, where it says define screen address, mine, my Arduino board and display does not, my, my display doesn't work with this address. It actually prefers C. I don't know why that is because right here it says Adafruit's code assumes that the 3C is for the small um, 128 by 32 bit screen and the 3D 
address is for 128 by 64, but mine is 128 by 64, and it is not the 3D. It is actually the 3C. I don't know why it's confused or backwards, whatever. Um, if you don't know, you don't need to look at the data sheet for the address. You just type in D or C um, and, and just figure out which one, and, and go ahead and upload your code. It'll either work or it won't. If it doesn't work, change it to a D, upload it again. If it does work, great. If it doesn't work after switching it, um, either way, then perhaps something else is wrong. But um, keep in mind that 128 by 64, if yours is a 32, all you have to do is go ahead and you can either click the example for the 32 or just edit the variable here and it'll change all over the place. But that's, that's it, mine is 64. So I'm gonna leave it at that and um, you'll just hit verify which checks the code to make sure, okay, there's no syntax errors, there's no problems, everything will work. And once it says done compiling, it's basically telling you that everything will work and you are all set. Why did that little thing pop up? Get out of here. Okay, anyhow, um, and then you'll hit upload. So I won't upload it because it's already uploaded and it works fine, but um, you'll hit upload and then you will get to see its beautiful little screen and little cute animations. And um, another thing too that I will mention is that this here, you can obviously see it's a star. You can change your own animations and, and have it so that it puts whatever picture you want onto the display. Um, I'll probably go and, and into more depth on this in another video, but right now, um, just know that you can, the best way to to play with the OLED screens or any display, uh, what I do is just go ahead and open up an example and then edit the example. And you can delete a lot of this code, like if you didn't want all of this and you just wanted um, the text code, like, da, 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 da. okay, so these are triangles. Okay, none of this matters. So you're going to go where it's the void. So where it says void all the way down to this bracket that is one function i can just remove it it'll go away you can verify it um it'll tell you what's wrong it didn't find that because i just deleted it so we'll go ahead and delete this because we don't want to uh it's hard to explain because it basically th this is um so i deleted the function that this called these are like calls of functions. These are a list of functions. And if you're gonna delete the function, delete where it's called as well. It's kind of complicated. I won't I won't go into more depth, but um, yeah, I can, I can put another video on that. But anyhow, just go ahead and delete stuff and then it'll tell you what needs to be deleted. So you don't have to find it to save time and yada 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 and then you can always change certain things like um let's see where it says doo, 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 doo. okay so right here see this is where the text says scroll so you will see that when you do upload the code and if you did everything right it will run through the programs of the stars and the animations and then the scroll and here you can add whatever you want Just be mindful of the display's size and you don't want to make it, you know, tacky. Make sure it fits on your screen. Um, so yeah, and then you can go ahead and verify to make sure there are no errors and then upload it. And um, let me make sure, did I have the three C and I get that, yep. And then upload and this- <laughs> Got <it! laughs> Oh, you know what? So on my MacBook, I have my USB cable to the Arduino plugged into a different USB port, the left side. So I've found that I have to use the right side, the right USB port on my computer for it to recognize and upload code. For some reason, the left USB ports don't communicate with my board, only the right one does. And if anyone knows why that is, that would be, if you could please kindly let me know. Um, I would love to know why that is. I, I have no idea, but I know every time this happens, I have to use the other USB port on my computer for it to work. Um, 
but yeah, generally it'll, it'll work. So don't worry, I've already uploaded my code and I will show you that in just a few moments. And here is the finished product. Here is my edit of the code that I just showed you. And this is all. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more.